Okay, we're going to look at some things with exponent rules. This is stuff that should be a review, but uh, we're going to go back over it just in case. First thing we're going to mention is negative exponents. Negative exponents are uh, do not like to be where they are. They want to switch sides of the fraction. So if I had something like x to the negative 2, for example, uh, x to the negative 2 would want to turn into a 1 over x squared. So in this case, this x to the negative 5, I could write on the bottom as x to positive 5. And the other x to the negative 5, I could write on the top as x to the positive 5. And I've kind of gotten rid of my negative exponents. Now at this point, uh, there's some other exponents worth mentioning. One exponent rule says if I divide, I subtract. So x to the fifth over x to the fifth would be x to the 0. Or uh, an x to the 0 is just the same thing as 1. Any exponent to the 0 power is equal to 1. So uh, that gives me, basically cancels out my x to the fifths. And then my y's, when I have those, when I'm putting those together, I add the exponents. When, when I multiply the bases, I add the exponents. So that's going to be y to the 11th. A uh, little thing that I have uh, done before is basically to say if you multiply, you add. So if the bases multiply, the exponents add, uh, divide, you subtract. If it's a power to a power, so something like x squared to the third, you end up multiplying, so x to the sixth. And then when you're adding or subtracting exponents, they have to start the same and stay the same. So x squared plus x squared is not x to the fourth. It's 2x squared. So multiplying, you add. Divide, you subtract the exponents. Power to power, you multiply. Add, you stay the same. That little uh, rhyme will help you get your exponent rules right every time. We'll do one more example of this, hopefully. So another problem. Okay, um, this one, I uh, need to make some room to write. I've got uh, the negative exponents, don't like where they are, so they're going to switch around. So I'm going to start by putting my x to the negative 6 on top as an x to the positive 6. x to the negative 8 goes to the bottom as x to the positive 8. And then I go ahead and I say, okay, I multiply add. So that's going to be an x to the 11th over x to the 8th. And then divide, I subtract. So it is x to the third. So that is the best answer. Now, one other thing worth mentioning is if I would have had something like x to the eighth over x to the eleventh, there's two ways to handle that. One way is I could subtract eight minus 11 and have x to the negative third. Or the other way I could handle that is do 11 minus eight and have x to the positive third. The trick is if I keep it positive by doing the 11 minus eight, since I started on the bottom, that x has to go on the bottom. And this matches up to the fact that x to the negative third is the same thing as one over x to the third. So a lot of times what I'll end up doing is just taking what's on the bottom and start with the 11 minus eight and then put my answer on the bottom since I probably did not want negative exponents anyway.